Hey, what's up? It's Ike Paws, and in today's short little video, I'm gonna show you how to leverage the math education market on Amazon KDP to exploit a ton of different math-related niches, okay? You're gonna to wanna to stay till the end of this video because I'm gonna remove all the barriers of entry to this previously extremely difficult market. I'm gonna show you both free versus paid methods to create these types of products. And I'm gonna give you a ton of different niches within Amazon KDP that revolve around the math education market. I'm also gonna show you uh, some of the keywords you do not want to target unless you're gonna incur the wrath of uh, different copyright owners, okay? So you're gonna to wanna to stay till the end. Also, make sure to like and subscribe to help the channel out, to help me out, and to get this video seen by more people, okay? Also, if you want to get more access, more information about this really cool market, make sure you put your information down below, check out the page down below, and sign up, okay? So, let's get into the niches first, okay? It's really important. I have a multitude of different Amazon tabs opened up right now within the incognito mode. I did that so I can remove all cookies and all past searches that I did, okay? And I wanna show you uh, all the different types of uh, little markets within the Amazon KDP network, okay? So here we have multiplication workbook, okay? As you can see, it has, it targets all types of uh, students, all types of grades for beginners, okay? And you can see we have grade three, four, five, two. I'm sure there's one. These are just the top autofill results, okay? These are the top keywords, okay? That's what Amazon gives you straight off the bat, the top keywords for the keywords you put in in the bar, okay? You can see here, this is this Kumon. This is a, co a copyright term I would not go after. I'll talk more about this later, okay? Now we have multiplications, your timetables. Uh, what about math workbook? Just math work, uh, workbook by its own has a multitude, again, of different keywords, different grades for adults, for kindergartners. The sky is the limit with this market, okay? Let's check out another one. Division workbook, okay? There's also long division. I, even, I haven't put that in there, uh, as you can see. This is just division, division workbook, grade three, four, two, six, uh, grade two, Kumon, again, stay away from this. Um, grade seven, okay. Here we have math activity, okay. Math activity books, okay. So you might have a multitude of different types of uh, math type of problems and, and solutions. So, you know, division, multiplication, you might have fractions, you might have uh, long division, okay. So here we have, again, a multitude of different types of niches within this market, okay? Now we go to fractions, another one, fractions. Fraction workbook, fraction workbook grades uh, through one to five, one to two. We got uh, different, we got um, fraction workbook for adults and so forth, okay? And we also have time telling, okay? Now time telling isn't exactly math, but it's a, a very popular type of, um, uh, topic that kids have to learn, of course. So uh, you can also uh, add them to your math activity books or math workbooks. You can, I know if you have any kids, you know that a lot of times these types of time telling activities are found within math workbooks, okay? We have time reading, okay? Time reading is another one, okay? Now here are some keywords that I recommend you don't go after. Uh, you'll find these keywords pop up a lot of times in your math education niche research. You have McGraw-Hill. McGraw-Hill, um, if you went through the education system in the, in the United States, uh, you undoubtedly have had or have held a McGraw-Hill um, book in your hands, okay? So this is a popular search term within Amazon. You don't want to target this keyword uh, because, well, uh, you, you don't have the um, you don't have the rights to it. Okay. Another one is Kumon. Kumon is a niche within Japan, actually, but that's growing popularity or it's gaining traction in the in the U.S. and in England and in Canada. It's a type of um, education style here in Japan. Again, this is copyright, so do, do not go after this keyword. 
uh, because the Amazon algorithm will find you and take you down. And you know, you know also, also there's there's a chance that Amazon will remove remove your account from Amazon KDP, and we don't want that. Okay. So as you can see, um, let's go to multiplication workbook. As you can see here, uh, these these types of uh, these types of uh, books are not easy to create. Okay. These types of books require a lot, either a lot of time behind Canva. If you want to do it the free way, you know, it's going to take days, weeks, uh, months even to create this type of book. Or uh, you can outsource it to, uh, you can out to outsource it to someone on Fiverr for a small fortune. Now, I recommend doing it an easier, an easier way because uh, there is a really cool piece of software that has been made available but at the time of this video it hasn't been released yet to the public but it will be shortly okay and it is called math worksheets generator and this has all of the different types of uh, operations math operations that i mentioned before it has addition subtraction multiplication division step multiplication lattice multiplication and mind you these are also little niches as well that i haven't even looked up yet Okay, long division, time, fractions, okay? So you can actually create these types of books. So in the example I just showed you here, we had some step multiplication. Let's create that real quick. So let's go here, step multiplication, and boom, I have a page of uh, six different step multiplication uh, problems. Okay, very good. So we can also add pages to this. I mean, sorry, number the pages. If I go to settings and I go to page numbering format, start at one. Okay, I'll start at one. And I can also uh, create or edit the, the page trim size. I'm going to keep it at 8.5 by 11, especially for a workbook. You want your books to be rather uh, large. Okay, I'm going to update it. And as you can see, there's a little one. Let me blow this up. There's a little one right there. And if I add a page, there's going to be a two up there as soon as I add a different type of um, a different type of math solution. Now I, I can mix it up, put in a multiplication here, or I can continue with the same step multiplication. I'm gonna I'm gonna use another step multiplication here. Again, increase that. Okay. Now before this piece of software, this was a huge barrier to entry. Um, I already created two books with this tool. To sell on um, Amazon U.S. Uh, English-speaking audiences and one in a different in a different target language. Okay, but the point of the matter is, before I mean, there's no way I was going to spend thousands of dollars to have someone make this for me. And if you want to do it the free way, I mentioned in the beginning of this video uh, to show you a free way. The free way. Let's go to Canva uh, for free. You can go to Canva, create an eight by eleven inch um template here now again if you're going to do this the free way it's going to take you a very long time you have to create the solutions as well so let me show you what you would do if you want to do it the free way you make sure you get a, a font that is um that is a public domain or at least a google font which can be used for commercial use i believe open sans extra bold is okay Let's shrink it down to this. Let's make it into a solid 16. Okay. Let me blow that up for you. And you want to do four. Uh, let, me, let me move this over. Let me move this over. Now, listen, there's nothing wrong with doing it the free way. It's just going to take you a very long time to do, okay? You want to duplicate that like that. Make this into a two. And uh, let's duplicate that. And let's use the plus sign. Okay, like that. Let's add this to the, to the left here. Let me, let me put that down like that. 
that works. And let's get a line going here. I'm gonna show you the fast, fastest way to do it here. Okay, so let's go to elements, put in line. Um, let's use this line here. Make sure it's, uh, it's flat. Let's make sure that we bring down the thickness. It's a little crooked. Let's bring it down to zero. I mean one, a zero right there, perfect. And what you wanna do, check this out, is highlight it, the whole thing, and group it together. Okay, group it, and then you're gonna wanna duplicate it. You see? And, uh, you know, Canva's pretty good at telling you where, you know, your, uh, how to, how to uh, space your um, elements within a template, how to space it so that you can work on it, on, on it easily and duplicate it. So let's, let's change this number to five. Let's change this number to one. And of course, you're gonna create, let me, let me shrink this down. I'm gonna create another page and you're gonna wanna make sure to add the solutions, right? So let me increase that. So, uh, let me change that to six. Let me, let me ungroup this. Like that. Let's uh, duplicate that. Like that, and this, this is your solutions page, okay? And you, you wanna repeat this. Now, you could do this. Um, I highly recommend that you um, find a faster way, okay? For many reasons. This will, again, take you a very, very long time. Um, I recommend you you know, you use this software, Math Worksheets Generator. You can also create solutions very easily with this tool. Just click on the, on the eyeball here, click Generate Solutions, and go back, and it's gonna add a solutions page right here. You see how cool that is? Okay, now I recommend you don't make giant books, okay? Do not make like a 100-page book. I don't know why some people are with workbooks. You want to keep them small. I mean, I, I mean, I, I buy workbooks for my kids. Okay, they're not hundred-page workbooks. Okay, you want to keep them short. Uh, Twenty-four is a minimum on Amazon KDP. I recommend between thirty to forty pages for a workbook. Okay, you don't want to make these fat Bible-ish type books. Okay, I don't know why people are doing that. That's crazy in my opinion. Okay. Uh, besides that, I also recommend. You, I recommend you do use Canva and actually create a, a, an opening page, a page where you explain what they're gonna learn on the next page. So let's say you, ha you have uh, 17 multiplication uh, type of question, uh, sorry, type, type of problems. You're gonna wanna explain how to, how to multiply numbers, okay? Very simple, you can just go to Google and just paraphrase what you find here. You don't wanna just copy and paste, you wanna paraphrase, add some numbers, um, you know, dress it up a little bit so that you can add it later to your finished uh, book, your finished math workbook. Really important, these little things, these little tweaks really add to, to your book, it really creates value, it really is gonna help uh, take your book and get you those four to five star ratings on Amazon KDP, propelling your book towards the top, of Amazon for your chosen keyword. Really good stuff. Um, I'm gonna come out with more videos concerning this because this really is, I don't, I, I guess, I guess it's a game changer because I mean, before, I've, I've never created a math book before because I didn't wanna sit behind the computer uh, for, for weeks on end. And I didn't wanna pay some freelancer thousands of bucks, to, uh, sorry, thousands of dollars to create a, a 48 page uh, math workbook. I, I just, because it's, it's gonna take me a while to recoup that on Amazon KDP. So I know I'm gonna make money um, selling these types of work math workbooks on Amazon KDP because 
before this software, I mean, there was no way to do it. You have to freelance or do it yourself. So uh, if you like this video, let me know down below. I'm happy to help. Um, I'm gonna make more videos around this uh, coming up shortly to help you understand how to attack this market. It's a market and uh, how to go after these different little niches. And of course, this has applications for printables, but that's for another video. Be good, take care. Don't forget to like and subscribe.